you said that Allah reflects light and um, he's made a nur. I didn't really understand that. The brother posed the question, he didn't understand my explanation to the counter argument of Brother William Campbell regarding Nur and Allah. The Quran says in Surah Nur, chapter 24, verse number 35, that Allah is Nur Samawati wal Ard, is the light of the heavens and the earth. He's a light. The meaning of light in the Quran, it is reflected light, a borrowed light. So he's asking, does it mean that even Allah has got borrowed light? So the answer is giving further if you read in the verse. It says that it's like a parable of a niche. In the niche, there is a lamp. Lamp has a light of its own. That means Allah has light of its own, as well as that light of its own is also being reflected. The light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is again being reflected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Like a halogen lamp that you see here. It has a tube in between. The lamp, you can refer to that as a siraj or a wahaj or a diya. And the reflector as munir or nur, borrowed light or reflection of light. And furthermore, but natural, this light actually doesn't refer to the physical light you're talking about. It is the spiritual light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But as our answer I've given to Dr. William Campbell,